This is Heather with Especially Paper. Today I'm going to do a quick demo on grouping and attaching objects in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to start by loading an SVG file. I've already uploaded it and it's located in the image tray at the bottom of the upload image page. This happens to be the Helibor paper flower template from Especially Paper. And anytime you bring an SVG file into Cricut Design Space, all of the objects will automatically be grouped. And when you click Go, Cricut is going to do its best to lay the pages out efficiently. It's going to try to maximize the space on each sheet. In this case, that's not how I want my colors to be set up. So I right click and ungroup. Now I can select each of the individual shapes. However, if you click Go, you're going to end up with the same thing that you had before. So Cricut is still going to try to arrange those shapes the best way it knows how. What we need to do instead is actually attach the objects. So I'm going to go back and select the petals and the base because I know I want those cut on the same sheet of paper. Then select Attach in the right panel menu. I also want the stamens and the centerpiece to be cut on the same sheet. So I've selected both of those and then right click and in the flyout menu select attach from there. So both of those steps do exactly the same thing. It's just a different way of accessing the attach option. Now in the cutting screen, Cricut keeps the pieces that are attached on the same sheet. So this is a great way to make sure that pieces you want cut on the same color stay together. I'm going to show you just a couple more things. Um, in case you've missed it, you can resize your canvas. It's in the lower left hand corner. This is really handy if you're working with a lot of pieces and would like to see everything that you've got to work with. I have one last thing to show you about attached objects. So in the right hand panel, you can see that you can select each of the objects individually, even when they're attached. And if you select the eyeball on the right hand side, that hides the object. So you can turn those on and off. When you've got one selected, it's got that blue outline around it, so you know which one is selected. And if you don't want to cut a piece, just hide it. And then when you select Go, Cricut is not going to lay that hidden piece out on the cutting sheet. So I'm going to switch. I've got a 12 by 12 by default. I'm going to switch to an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So all the especially paper templates are designed to fit on 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And then Cricut lays everything out to fit those 8.5 by 11 sheets. So those are some tips on using the attach and ungroup functions with SVG files. So things to remember, SVG files always import with all of the objects grouped together. And if you want to cut objects on the same sheet, select everything and attach them. For more tips, tutorials, and paper craft inspiration, subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. You can find SVG templates, including paper flowers and other crafts, at especiallypaper.com.